whacker, man, killed in downtown LA, stumbling upon some men trying to steal his Cadillac converter maybe three or four days ago. Still no description of the perps. Still no description of the perps. An actor in a major soap opera, General Hospital, been around for 50 years killed in broad daylight not punched like steve buscemi not sucker punched like steve buscemi murdered in broad daylight in downtown los angeles no description of the suspect finally today the woman who was with him we get her side of the story who thinks that we're going to get a description of the suspect Could be on Brito too. It ain't, but if it ain't a white person, if it's it, it like listen, if this is if think about it, man. This is an actor murdered in broad daylight in downtown LA. Four days later, no description of the suspect. It's gotta be an on Brito or something, man. Now to the latest on General Hospital star Johnny Wachter. Now, one of his co-workers revealed the details of the shooting, saying an actor was between her and the gunman. Kana Wentworth has the story, and Kana, this is a gripping account of what happened. M yeah, Michael, it certainly is. So Anita Joy, who Johnny called Anita Bonita, details Johnny's heroic actions, what he did in the final moments of his life. I hate when they always try to say, make the person out to a hero and shit. He saved my life. Like, no, the fuck he did. He just got shot. You now you trying to like make it like you know. In the last moments of his life, he put his arm out to stop the person that he was walking with, and then he died. Like, <laughs> yeah, um. yeah. They always do that, man. Like, nah, man. And some man just smoked his ass to save hers. In fact, she calls him her guardian angel. This morning, the co-worker of Johnny Wachter, who was with him at the time of his death, breaking her silence. She writes, I was with Johnny in his last moments, and I'm here to be his voice after such unimaginable events. Anita Joy taking to Instagram, explaining she needed time to collect myself and my thoughts before detailing oh, the... Oh, a train? The fuck? She got a big-ass head for a woman. That's a fashionable head... training. Yeah, her head big as his, man. The fuck? Self and my thoughts before detail. I, I got a, I got a big head, Paul. I got a huge brain, man. When I, when I'm next, when I take pictures with my wife, she look like a kid, man. <laughs> Shit, man, woman ain't supposed to have no head that big, man, Paul. Well, events. Anita Joy taking to Instagram, explaining she needed time to collect myself and my thoughts before detailing the events of that fateful night, culminating with the former General Hospital star shielding her before being fatally shot. My friend of eight years went from laughing together, working side by side, leaving our bartending shift and walking to our cars, to him dying in my arms in the streets of DTLA in the dark hours of 3 a.m. Police say they came across three suspects dressed in black and wearing masks. Three suspects dressed in black and wearing masks. Yeah. Cops are talking to this son, man, right here. I don't know. That they said that all three are on the loose. So, but while cops are talking to this son, man, right here. I ain't seen none yet, uh, officer. Dressed in black and wearing masks, trying job. to steal his car's catalytic converter. One of them opening fire on Wachter before fleeing in a dark sedan. Joy writing, Johnny was between me and the man who shot him. As I heard the shot ring into the night, he forcefully tumbled back into my arms. As I grabbed for him, I shouted, honey, you okay? And he only responded, nope, shot. She goes on to describe the chaos that followed as her friend lay dying in her arms. She screamed for help. Then a security guard she knew called 911 and tied her jacket around Wachter in an attempt to stop the bleeding. But it wasn't enough. According to Joy, it was too close range, too extreme of a wound for him to survive. But my God, he fought to stay. Yeah, but Joy, this is like, 
you living out apartment. If like, is she leaving out, or is the news leaving it out? Like, what do these the guys news. look like? Man? <laughs> I, th- I think the news is leaving like, it out. <laughs> well, they keep mentioning too that they had on masks, so it's hard to say. But they got hands though, and they got eyes. Like, they might have had on gloves. You know, you never know. Never know. Nah, you know a son. It could have been an umbrito. It could have been an umbrito that may look like a glider. Could have been one that you know. It's hard. It's hard to say. Who knows? But I think it, I think it was a. Shit, I think it was a brother. Let's stop this shit. That like you don't know what somebody looks like. You don't know the differences between the races. They were yelling. They come on, man. Let's stop. This. We've already debunked that. Everybody knows the differences in the races, man. Stop it. You don't need the skin colors. You don't need skin color to. Did he break up? We all we sound different. Oh shit! What was that? Oh yeah, we we sound different. We walk differently, man. She know if these were some some brothers, man. I don't want to hear that shit, man. She know if these were some brothers. You need to stop this shit, man. Either they had a bob or they didn't. Yeah, man. What the fuck, man? It's been fucking four days, three, four days, man. Tell us who the fuck did this shit, man. This is an actor. This ain't no Joe Schmo. This is an actor in a major TV series, man. With a bright future, man. He could have been, you know what I'm saying? He could have been the next... Um, fucking Ryan Gosling or some shit. Come on, man. What? Who the fuck killed this guy, man? This is this is ridiculous, man. This is racist. This is racist, man. This is pure and unadulterated racism. If he was black, if he was black, there's no way in the world we wouldn't know who the killed his ass no way in the world by now at this point unless he was killed by a brother this is insane man this is pure unadulterated racism this chad didn't deserve this He, he he got the Chad look. He would have got his break. His thin lips were no match for the prognathic lips of his assailants. This is insane, man. Like, yo, this is insane. This morning, General Hospital actor Johnny Wachter's co-worker is now sharing her story about his final moments leading up to his death. So she was there when the deadly shooting happened. She says he shielded her from the gunfire. NBC4's Lauren Coronado was live in downtown LA with what she is now revealing about those final moments. Lauren. Lynette, Adrian, good morning. Remember, the shooting happened right here near the corner of Hope and Pico in downtown L.A. And those final moments for actor Johnny Wachter are just heartbreaking. In a post to social media, the woman whose name on Instagram is Anita Joyce says she and Johnny were co-workers and friends for eight years. She shared this message as part of a post on Instagram reading, I am utterly heartbroken and so very angry. My only peace is that I was with him and this didn't happen to him alone. My only other peace will be seeing these awful men brought to justice. In the post, she described what happened early that Saturday morning after she and Wachter shipped at a restaurant and lounge here in downtown. She says the two were walking to their cars when they saw men surrounding Wachter's car, which we now know, according to the LAPD, was a catalytic converter theft in progress. Anita says they thought the car was getting towed. As Wachter confronted the men, he stood in front of her, put his hands in the air, then was shot. She describes at close range. Anita says he fell back into her arms, adding a security guard the two worked with ran over while on the phone with 911 and tried to save Wachter's life while police were on the way. 
The general hospital actor died shortly after the medical examiner's report determining he died from a gunshot wound to the chest. Now, I did check in with the LAPD this morning in terms of the investigation. They tell me no arrests have been made. This is this is unbelievable, man. This is unbelievable. Who killed this guy in downtown LA? We have a witness. We have a woman who not only was there but says that she was the one that the gun was pointed at and he jumped in front of her. There's got to be surveillance videos. There's got to be That's downtown. what I was about to say. Yeah. Now they they're, they're going to find it cuz remember the cash app that cash app guy it took a while and they found them they found it real quick. Yeah, but uh, no, I get that. But what I'm saying is, yo, where's the surveillance footage? Where's the description from the woman who was right there a foot away from him when he got shot? Where's all that stuff? If 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 they thought this if they thought this was being, if this car was being towed, was it a truck involved? Yeah, it could have been another vehicle involved that they got away in. Where's the license plate for that vehicle? Where's the description for that vehicle? I'm sure she saw them run to a vehicle. The lack of information right, is right. astounding. It's criminal. It's criminal, man, that, that they're doing this. This is, they would never do a black guy like this, man. Never. Never would they do a black guy like this. A black actor, if fucking goddamn Tay Diggs or some fucking Morris Chestnut got shot downtown by a fucking white guy, yo, yeah, that will be the biggest news story in the fucking country. Shit, downtown LA might be on fire right now. I'm telling you, this is insane. We just saw Steve Buscemi get the shit knocked out of him in downtown New York. They found the guy almost immediately when, when he when he when he when he clobbered. Steve Buscemi, because there's cameras everywhere downtown in these major cities. There's cameras everywhere. There's no way that they're hiding. Listen, they're hiding this from us. There's no way in the world you can fucking kill an actor on a major TV show in downtown of a major city like LA and we don't see even some grainy footage of three figures walking away or some shit. You know we don't see nothing. Clifton Williams did not have anything to say after being charged with second degree assault after allegedly Damn, how he get this job him in the face <laughs> during a random attack in Manhattan for real. earlier this month. Those outside of the 13th precinct witnessing the 50 year old man being taken by police described the moment as being like a scene from a movie. I was thinking, what are all these cameras doing? And uh, really, I just was kind of hanging out to see what would happen. And someone told me it was the guy who punched Steve Buscemi and I Thought that might be interesting. The NYPD telling Pix 11 News that Williams was apprehended following a dispute with the supervisor of the homeless shelter where he's been staying. Look at this shit. Clear as day. Clear as day footage of him after he punched Steve Buscemi just walking down the street. But why? What like? What made him just like? Yeah, I'm a soccer son out of this dude. Any socks on my yoga? The, the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's sick, yo. But you know he won't do that to me. I, 
to you know by the spirit regular of big gliders. He wouldn't do that to a big glider, you know. Um shaft Yeah, like so a glider chick. Oh yep. shit out of a glider chick. But but here's my thing, like this is where's anything? They don't have like you know how like they do that footage where they, it's just a car going by and they're like, we're looking for a dark sedan or nothing. This guy gets murdered in downtown Los Angeles, and there's nothing, not a peep from any security cameras, not even like, well, security cameras across the street saw this um, suspicious car or a car of interest traveling as a white sedan, blah, blah, blah. Not, there's nothing about that guy. The woman was right there. There's nothing about the suspect, like nothing. Look at, they even got Steve Buscemi walking. Now to exclusive video showing the moments before actor Steve Buscemi was randomly attacked in Kipps Bay. This happened on 3rd Avenue by East 27th Street, and police are still looking for the attacker. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has the video. Exclusive video shows actor Steve Buscemi looking at his phone as he walked south on 3rd Avenue last Wednesday before noon. The 66-year-old looks up to greet someone and then moments later, just after crossing East 27th Street, is when police say Buscemi was punched by this man unprovoked. It's like, it's crazy, but it's, it's believable. It happens. And but even though they didn't catch the attack, they caught him walking and they got that. You know what I'm saying? With this guy, Johnny, what after we don't have anything? Nothing. You know what? I can, it dawned on me too. Sometimes they'll withhold, I'm not saying it's, you know, the fact in this case, but sometimes they'll withhold certain information because they have some they have someone in mind or they have some leads and they don't want them to scatter. Because they think that they, you know, they think they they scot free of committing a crime. I think you're thinking too much, man. I get, I see where you're coming from, but listen, if a guy, you know, you want the public's help, the finding people, you don't need to. It's not like it's a mystery. I mean, it is a mystery, but it's not like in those cases where they withhold information and shit like that. I get, I get, you know, detectives got a whole withhold stuff and blah, 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 but come on, man. Three fucking guys still in the Cadillac converter get stumbled upon and then just shoot the guy. That's not one of those cases where you need the whole withhold information. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm just, just saying. You stumbled upon he's, this is insane, man. I, I, I just I just think this is racism. This is the height of racism, man. Because they know some... The, the cops know. That girl told the cops. That girl talked to the cops. She told the cops who did that shit. Ain't no way in the world the cops didn't interview that girl that was with him and say, who was it? And she said, oh, she, Yeah, she told. You know, she's not a sister, so she got no... You know, so, she's doing the right thing. So where's the description? Where's all of that shit? This is racism, man. 